as I mentioned earlier on, we are still continuing with these matters uh, concerning abuse in relationships. So um, even as we talk about this, remember uh, to keep on engaging with us. I love the feedback that I'm getting. I'm seeing people coming into my inbox talking about this particular discussion. A big thanks to everybody that is uh, uh, tuned in. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm with uh, Nchebere here a psychologist and counselor as we talk about matters concerning abuse in relationships. And Nchabere, before we went on that break, mm -hmm. you were talking about healing, that, that it, it's, it's very important for someone to, to go through that process and, 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 and it must be a discussion that involves both parties. Yeah. It can't be a one-man show. How can someone get out of an abusive relationship? Um, first and foremost, um, abusers make sure that they take away your self-worth. When they take away your self-worth, they make you hate yourself. When you hate yourself, you start blaming yourself. When you blame yourself, you find yourself not good enough. So actually, they make you feel that they're doing you a favor. That being with you is the greatest honor they have given you. They make you think that no one else can accept you. You are flawed. They turn you into a shell. You lose your esteem. You lose your value. And you start measuring yourself in their demand. Now, when they <laughs> establish that, mm. they can turn you into anything they ever wanted you know so they have manipulated you and 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 and, and that's a polite one <laughs> sorry that's a polite that's mostly. a polite word first of all they show you that number one you are morally indisciplined And when someone starts attacking your morality, you always doubt on yourself. And, 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 and you take a step back. Exactly. And, and, and you start, you know. you start asking. And if it is a man, you start thinking, what a great man. Who can understand discipline in morality? Mm. Sister. <laughs> hey. Chunga. Take off. Hakuna uh, kuchunga. Mm -mm. Toka. <laughs> they say you can never hug a man. Mm. It's not okay even your father. They are, it is a calculated journey. They get rid of everything that you have. And we are created because we have our internal self-identity. They demolish that and they install theirs. Based on their own dictionary oh, come on. of what, exactly. what everything means. Yes. And they show you how they care. They hide in that. Note, it's because I love you. Okay. It's because I care for you. Mm -hmm. Now they start stalking you. They start monitoring you. You get 20 phone calls in a day. That's intrusive. Uh -huh. And they think that I'm, I'm doing this because I love you. Come on. I'm doing this because I care. You are the baby. You are the only <laughs> thing. It's a blunt and lie. Uh, Wongo. <laughs> love is free. It allows you to grow. It yeah. allows you to become you. Without conditions. So when that happens, mm. now they have got their field day. They are able to strike. Mm -hmm. And the other common thing abusers do, they make sure 
that they isolate you completely from friends, from everybody. Okay. The li life becomes you and them, you and them. They blindfold you. Once you fall for that, we're done. So the question was, how would I get be able to get out? Of an abusive relationship. It's hard work. Because all the things that make you a person have been taken away. It will need external intervention. Therapy being one of them. Having family and friends and people around you who can tell you this is wrong. Mm. People who can watch over you, people who can help you see. Okay. And it will take quite a long journey for you to believe because they have already turned you into an individual who is in need. You so become it's, it's like some form of drug, yes. drug addiction. Yes, you're so mm. in need. Mm. And then they turn you into clingy. And any time you measure against someone else's requirements, you will always be lacking. So yes, it's a it's a difficult one to to do. I I I do not want to say it is easy. It's not easy. It is not easy. You so so for you to get out, you need you need you need help. Get th a third party. Yeah. A counselor, a psychologist, uh, a, a third party, family, friends, spiritual leaders. Mm. Correct. Yeah. Spiritual leaders can also play a role. Yes, they can. You know when uh, when uh, when um, when an abuser takes everything in like five years you've lost contact you've lost friends mm. you've lost relationships you are empty even you lose even family mm. so when you are supposed to leave the abused will always ask a question if I leave where will I go to now let's talk about this abused yes so <coughs> the family you, you you mentioned third parties yes the family have uh, noticed that eh, uh the the boyfriend of this woman or the the the, the fiance looks like an abusive man mm. we, we need to tell her to come out of that relationship but this lady does not listen this person is not doing anything to come out mm. in fact the more you try to separate them the more glued they are yes mm. you're trying to help them and, and this could be your, your sister you're saying come out of this relationship come out of this relationship and sometimes it could be come out of this marriage even if it's a divorce go get a divorce they are advising you to get out of this but it it, it seems cumbersome. And if you do, you always go back. <laughs> what abusers do, mm. they study you. They know your greatest need. They supply it in plenty. And you're sold. Number two. They tell you, darling. Mm. I have enough, for example. You stay home. Let's raise the family. <laughs> who it's a uh, husband who is that loving? By the time you're done in two, three years, mm. you don't have a penny. So why is it that these abused people don't want to live? They have no money. They have nowhere to go. For example, a common statement that I don't believe in. Let's have a joint account. Why should we? Oh, okay. That's another discussion there. Uh, That's yes. another discussion. So, so, this is a way to slowly deprive you of independence. Yes. So that the day you start thinking of going, it becomes impossible. Then great and good manipulators and abusers get a transfer 
for example, and they get a job like in a, in a place like uh, Rwanda, Mombasa, mm. away from your people. And where you go, they make sure you are isolated. So it becomes very difficult for you to live. It becomes very difficult for you to, to realize um, this is where I am into. So wow. living for them, mm. the, everything has been taken away from them. So that is one rule, one thing uh, abusers do. So wow. when you don't have anything, <laughs> you, re you resign to your fate. And, and uh, okay, le final question, final question. Now, they, these, they're abused. Um, you've um, broken up with this guy. And uh, there's this, that part of, you know, there's that season after breakup where, you're like, she, she, he, he texts you, calls you, keeps on coming around your place, uh, apologizing, I'm sorry I hurt you, I'm sorry I did this, I'm a changed man now, I stopped this, I stopped that, and, uh, and, and, and it's, it's this merry-go-round, mm -hmm. you know, you keep on, uh, you break up, get back together, break up, get back together, break up, get back together. How, how can you break this circle, this cycle, this merry-go-round, and, 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 and advise this woman who wants to break up with this guy, but keeps on getting back together with him. If the lady is ready to break up, they need to do deliberate things. One, don't have communication. Mm. Block. Are you saying block? Don't have communication. Blocking is not a solution because if you block, mm. they know other ways they can get you. Exactly. If it is possible. Mm -hmm. If it is possible. Mm -hmm. Have a new line, number one. Number two, uh. before you come, if you are so interested not to get back to the cycle again. And now, the, the, the question you've asked me, this is for someone who is liberated completely and they have made up their mind they want to live. They Most of the cases, it's mm. not that way. So let me answer your question as you've asked. Yes. So because you want to live, you want to and live. you are tired. So, call number one, change your line. Number two, go away to where he does not know you. He does not know your relatives, your friends, and everything else. So it becomes difficult because they are stalkers. They will track you. They will do everything. W w what if there are kids involved? You know, this is an abusive man and, 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 and you're divorced what comes, and, and you want I to I will leave. not even allow you to finish. What uh, comes first? Uh, is, it a better, is, is it better dead mother or a alive mother who has run away? If you mind to answer me. <laughs> of course you both know. An alive mother. What comes first? Me or the pain I'm going through? It calls for me to be uh, aware mm. and be ready to rescue me. And that's where we are. Because you see, mothers will be thinking, I will affect the, the life of these children, transferring them to another school. Me, me shifting from this place to this place means moving them to another school. There are expenses that are there. You know? we, we, we st uh, when you int you're introducing a twist to your question, we will get to that one. There, there's so many let, things let, that are involved. Yes, let's get first to the first question. Yes. This lady wants to live. You want to live, yes. The first thing, mm -hmm. it's me, the lady, live. When you are safe, okay and better you can be able to fight now for the children okay if the children okay. are young mm. the courts are on your side mm. there's a lot of things that you can do you can still get the children we will hit the court mm. but you cannot if when you, leave. you are in or when you've got a broken arm or a black eye so if you're living live make conscious deliberate move change your number completely you are answered move to space where he can't reach you he doesn't know he will not be able to monitor he will not be able to stalk you 
seek your healing. Discover the operations of your abuser. Restore and get energy. Knowing very well, I left my children who are young. Mm -hmm. I don't think they are safe. Or they could be safe. I do not want them to be raised yeah. by this abuser. Mm -hmm. So, first of all, the first person is you. When now you do that, come another day. And when you come, make your place of stay and all those things discreet. Abusers are real. Yes, they are. They are real. I hope one day you will call me so that we can talk uh, about this other group of people, the psychopaths. Oh, oh, they oh, are oh, worse oh. now than... Now, that's a... That's, oh, that's a, come on. That, that is uh, code red. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> and you can't, you cannot, you cannot sniff them. These are at a higher level. We'll so, about that. so, we'll about that. so ah, mm. once you do that, mm -hmm. then you can be able to fight. Now, I talked about the external world. You must have a good family. You must have a good support system. You must be having people who care around you. People who are willing to protect you. People now who are sane. People who can see the abuser for who he is, who are ready to push the abuser to some level. Wow. Wow. My brother, I want us to finish and uh, I want to give you time, just 30 seconds to mm -hmm. give us a parting shot and, uh, and, and, and talk to Kenyans watching you this morning. That is your camera. What's your final word? Abuse in relationships is real. It kills and it destroys. When I talk of killing, I talk of emotional death. We first die emotionally before we die physically. It is not okay to say, I will change. I will transform this person. Because you in your capacity, you cannot change the other person. Mm. Fear, if you have the chance, run. It is important for you to seek counsel, to seek help long before you enter into this kind of a relationship. They ensnare, they trap, and eventually they chain and imprison you. You better watch because abusers are real people, but they come camouflaged in all form of great men and women, and they have got all manner of uh, ways to entice and make you want more from them. But all this is carrot and stick. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much, Nibere. Thank you so much, sir, Keep doing for bringing doing. me here. Thank you so much. H how can someone get a hold of you if uh, they want to? Uh, I practice at, uh, I'm stationed at View Park Towers, mm -hmm. just across here, yeah, on yeah. the 15th floor, mm -hmm. door number 11, wing C. Uh, the name of the firm is called Purpose Counseling and Wellness Center. Mm -hmm. And my number is 0722-335-882. One more time with that number. 0722-335-882. Nchambere. Yes, sir. A good job. Thank you, sir. I admire your it work. It was our honor. It's an honor. To be hosted by you. The pleasure is all mine. Thank Time so was much. not enough. I am shocked that <laughs> to me, Melissa. We've... We, we, we've <laughs> what? Oh. We, we've, we've, we've gone more than an hour. <laughs> but of course, that brings us to the end of this uh, morning discussion right here on Why in the Morning. It, it will be to, we've been talking about matters concerning abuse in relationships. I hope you've learned something. And after hearing from Inchemberi, you're going to do something about it. And as he said, there's nothing wrong with you. You can change. There's something, there's something that you can do about it. My name is Ram Magugo. It has been a pleasure being with you. Keep it right in the morning. We still have more coming up your way. Thank you. My brother.